Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Redmi K40, the Poco F3, also known as the Mi 11X in India. Now this device comes with the Snapdragon 870 and all the works and recently it has started receiving Android 12 in China closed beta. Now what we have here is Xiaomi.eu, I've flashed it a couple of days back and you know since then I've been using it. So these are the initial impressions of things that are working and things that are not working. But before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community. We have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other, so join us there. And last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash, let's get going. All right, so let's see what we have here. Xiaomi.eu 21.10.20 weekly based on Android 12. Now this was updated on the 21st of October 2021. And after that, they've had one more update that is 21.10.22 in which they have fixed this particular SMS force closure as you can see over here. So yeah, this is a pretty, pretty raw build, not really a daily driver. So let's see what the Xiaomi.eu team has to say over here. It says new Android 12 update, Mi 11 and all these devices. Xiaomi.eu weekly ROM release for Xiaomi CV. That's a new device memory extension feature for these devices. Optimization ROM packages should be smaller now. New filters. These are the names of the new filters. Now, this is the critical part. I will read about it in the installation video, but have a look at the known issues on certain devices, right? And they have fixed the SMS force closure in 21.10.22, right? So this is Android 12. These are the early days. There are bugs. This persistent notification, you know, it just doesn't go away. There is no way to go ahead and disable this mic notification, right? So SMS app force closes. If you actually go to the camera and uh, say you go to the wide angle camera, there you go. The camera app has frozen. Yeah, so most of the time the camera app will give you errors and if you clear recents, sometimes it works fine and sometimes it will give you a soft reboot and stuff like that. So, you know, as I said, there are a ton of bugs. We will talk about the ton of bugs towards the end of the video, but first, Let's go ahead and talk about the things that are amazing. And the first thing about that is Android 12. So if you go to my device, if you go to all specs over here, as you can see, you will see that the Android version is Android 12. And if you go ahead and enable the Android 12 Easter egg over here, as you can see, if you press and hold over here, go to widgets, So Android S Easter egg, this particular widget is working fine as well. Now you would ask me that, you know, this is Xiaomi.eu, Xiaomi.eu has been always smooth. What is so special about this one? Well, first of all, as I said at the start of the video, this is definitely not a daily driver. Don't expect to be using it daily, at least till the time tomorrow's update for this particular week is out and we will see what all things are fixed there. But if you have a look over here, you will notice that Almost everything on this particular version is exactly the same like the stable update, but there are some changes here and there. For example, this particular launcher that you see is from MIUI 13. They call it the MIUI 13 launcher. You have the theme shortcut over here. And if you have a look, this particular animation is really, really subtle, really, really smooth, and it works really, really great. Overall, the animations have taken a lot of improvement is what I have experienced in this particular update. So, you know, even if you talk about the app icon animations, as you can see over here, they are very, very subtle, very, very smooth, and they are working very, very cohesively. At the top, you will see that the control center is still the same. There are no changes at all, right? It is absolutely the same thing. But if you actually go to apps like say security, let's go to security over here real quick. There you go. And if you go to settings and see the security version, this is the security version. If you talk about the new security version, you do have the updated game turbo. Now let's launch BGMI over here. Let me show you the new game turbo. Okay. Now, as you can see, this is the new game turbo that is working absolutely fine. At the same time, if you go to settings over here and you go to special features, 
and you go to video toolbox you you know maybe go ahead and enable it for youtube over here and under YouTube, as you can see, you will have your video toolbox over here. Now, let me tell you this. There are a lot of features which are missing from this particular update because understand that they have started working on Android 12 and they are adding features one by one to make things smoother as they go. But as of now, there are things which are broken and you will have issues if you flash this particular update. So moving on let's talk about the smoothness the battery backup of this rom now the charging speed i've not had any issues the battery backup is not that great but it's pretty decent and the most important part you will ask me is how is the performance but before that let me actually go ahead and show you the gallery application which also has you know some new filters and stuff like that the whole ui of the gallery application is new and if you see over here you have this settings option which is really really updated and say you go here free up space you have albums free up space list view settings select best photos sync with the cloud off view hidden albums and stuff like that so the gallery application is updated as well it has new filters and new filters for the sky you know editing feature as well and if you actually go ahead and take a screenshot right you have these new editing options. Now, remember yesterday I made a video in which we had a new update for MIUI 13 based system applications and stuff. These are those features and they are working just fine. So that is good to see that with Android 12, they are bringing in most of the features which they are expecting to be implemented in MIUI 13. Now, with all that said, as I said, you cannot use this as a daily driver, but there is a trump card over here. The performance on this ROM is just plain awesome let me just show you the cpu throttle test over here real quick so let's say we'll go to albums we'll go to screenshots and look at this bam cpu throttle to 92 percent of its max performance and the average score was 242 516 gips right now that is the first thing now these tests and to do geekbench and the cpu throttle test so all of these tests were performed with game turbo enabled in geekbench and to do and cpu throttle test now let's move to Geekbench over here real quick as you can see history 994 single core 3259 multi core this is a really really good score and the same story continues in Antutu as well if you have a look there you go 681,251 so very very decent score there now there are things as I said which are missing for example if you go to display you don't really have the option of setting your refresh rate and a lot of features are missing as i said earlier so all in all this is the you know very first very raw version of android 12 based mi ui that is coming your way if you want me to make a video on how to install it although it doesn't make any sense to me we will wait for a couple of days and see if you know xiaomi.eu team comes with a twrp flashable version or not until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye